Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Adobe Summit 2019. Brought to you by Adobe. Hello everyone, welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage here in Las Vegas for Adobe Summit 2019. I'm John Furrier with Jeff Frick. My co-host this week, Michael Young, is the CIO of Asia Miles. Welcome to theCUBE, thanks for joining yeah, us. Great to be here. Yeah. So take a minute before we get into the conversation about machine learning and all the cool tech. What does Asia Miles do? What's, what's your role there and what's the company do? Right, um, Asia Miles is the uh, loyalty reward program of the Hong Kong's Cafe Pacific Airways. So a typical airline, but uh, we have the reward program to support uh, our members uh, of Cafe Pacific Airways. Okay, so um, we have over about uh, 11 million members and over 700 partners around the world. How many members? 11 million. 11 yeah. million? Yeah, oh. yeah. That so, seems like a lot to me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah the leading uh, um, uh, loyalty program in the region, in Asia. Uh, in fact, we started the program about 20 years ago, so 1999. So this is our 20th anniversary. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. So um, similar to any uh, loyalty program, our members can earn miles by uh, flying, traveling, dining, shopping, even have your uh, mortgage with our banking partners. At the same time, using the miles, you can uh, redeem uh, rewards, um, hotel stays, uh, flight tickets, and uh, even for uh, uh, laptop computers or mobile phone. So you can do all sorts of this. So yeah. you did the Web 1.0, Web 2.0, <laughs> yeah. Web 3.0, you've, right, you've, right, you've, right. you've, you've seen it all. You've lived the journey. Yes, paper yes, yeah. paper <laughs> 1.0. <laughs> right, yeah. And um, so my job is actually, um, um, leading the digital product team. Uh, as you know, uh, like loyalty program, we don't have production lines, we don't have branches, everything is digital. So our web, our mobiles, our engines to support the earnings and the engines to support the redemption are all digital. So basically we are more like a, a digital marketing company that we link the partners, their products, their offers to our members. So important is obviously the data, yeah. it's super important, and having connection points, APIs, yeah. Yes. Open systems, is it open APIs? Yes, so all sorts of these uh, technologies in our stack. Yes, and uh, so basically our membership profile or databases, and then with APIs we can do all sorts of uh, uh, modeling or calculation or segmentation. Mm -hmm. And then we push through uh, our marketing offers or campaigns mm -hmm. uh, to our targeted members. So sounds like a good architecture. Now what specifically of, of Adobe product stack are you using for well, Adobe? Um, we used um, the, almost the whole suite of our Adobe products. We started our baby step about three years ago with uh, Adobe Experience Manager. Basically our content management system support our, uh, our website or mobile. And then we extended to campaign to automate our uh, marketing campaigns. And then later on, uh, audience manager, targets, and uh, analytics, so on and so forth. So basically a full stack. Yeah. So you're a big customer of all the products. Yes, indeed. Yeah. So one of the big things you're talking about is the data, role of data, and machine learning's coming up a lot. Yes. How are you applying machine learning right. now, with all those millions of members, yes. and all the different diverse content you have, exactly. and the yeah. different connection points yes. to partners, yeah. it's an, you have to kind of have this free-flowing operating environment, <laughs> platform <laughs> right. yourself. Right. So, yeah. so yeah. how are you using machine learning to either automate away things that you're doing manually, or creating new in innovation insights. Yeah, um, as I mentioned, we have to match the offers from our 700 partners to 11 million members, right? And therefore, we build certain technologies like um, propensity modeling that we can tell from, say, from John, your uh, mouse balance, your life stages, your persona, and uh, your lifetime value. And then we do a what we call the partner recommendation engine. So the recommendation engine will push to certain offers to John or to Jeff directly based on all your profiles. And that requires some uh, machine learnings and uh, modeling as well from our data scientists team. Yeah. I'm curious how the expectation has changed over time yeah. in terms of what your members kind of expect to get out of the application. Because yeah. I assume they want more and more and more yeah. and what was special today is, is common tomorrow. And how you've been able to continue to adapt yeah. and change what you, what you offer right. the experience. Great question. Um, first, and, first of all, um, our members really like to go mobile. So our offers have to be location based. So with your mobile apps, then you can see, okay, what are the um, popular restaurants around me that I can earn miles easily? Or if it's a Monday, then you can earn, say, uh, double miles uh, if you uh, uh, buy something with a, a, a retail partners as well. So all these, uh, the partners ex uh, and the members expect more. And secondly, um, members are smart enough to tell that, oh, 
your offers is generated by a machine. It's not personalized enough. For example, if I just fly to San Francisco last week, why you promote San Francisco flight ticket to me? A hotel again. Right, right. I'm not going to visit uh, the San Francisco again. The thing is brutal. Yeah, brutal. Yeah. yeah. So you have to really based on their transaction history and uh, their other features or signals, and then define the next offer. And this is really important. Yeah. And and do you help the customers figure because you just said if you eat out on a Monday, maybe you get double miles because the yes. restaurants are slow. Yeah. Is that something that you guys have discovered in your analytics that you're helping your partners to get more? pull on their offers, or is that being driven from them? Because you have a lot, yeah, you've yeah, got a lot know. more data yeah. than, than yeah. an individual restaurant or some right. of your other partners. But I mean, even in Hong Kong, Monday is a slow day for, right, <laughs> for right, restaurants. Right, right. So it's good to uh, help out the partners a bit, that you earn double miles, or in a certain uh, uh, important days or holidays, you get a triple miles by buying something. So it's a natural for our partners and our members' expectations. Yeah. You have an economy. It's, yes. a, it's, it's like well, a, it's like you got to have a fiscal <laughs> policy and a, you know. Well, let me tell you, all loyalty programs are pretty much runs like this. Yeah. It's really highly data driven. You have reputation. Yes. You have influence. You have exactly. It's very important. I can almost imagine contextual mm. understanding of what's happening and having the right data. Yes. You mentioned that retargeting thing about San Francisco. I see this all the time on retargeting. They don't have the context. Mm. I mean, you know, whether it's a, well. that really makes it for a really poor personalized experience. Yes, so talk yeah. about context. Having data in context to something. How hard is that? Well, it's really hard from data, turn it to information, and the actionable insight. It's really hard. So even we have uh, um, so many team members with uh, doing all these modelings, there are times that we need powerful tools um, to do proper segmentation and targeting. And, uh, and that tool's got to be really flexible and uh, fast responsive to certain contexts. And uh, with that, um, Adobe products help us a lot. What's the biggest to do for you going next step? As you continue to grow, yeah. you're in digital, all digital. Yes. You have Adobe Suite, yeah. cloud computing scale, yeah. a lot of data context, a lot of usual data. Yeah. What's next for your business? What's next for you? Well, um, last year we started to test the water to um, try our blockchain technology. So we have the marketing campaign rules embedded that in the blockchain smart contract. And this is one of the things that uh, we, uh, um, invest, we invest a lot of time and uh, resources into it. We believe in the future, marketing campaign got to be more real time and you can earn your bonus miles straight away instead of a wait for two, three months until the end of the campaign. So um, hopefully with the marketing platform and also uh, new technology and better data, we can do better campaigns. Yeah. In terms of skills, yeah. to deal with the kind of things that you're doing with, you get the future, future proofing your business, but right. blockchain, love that. <laughs> Smart <laughs> contracts going on, yes. peer to peer, yes. immutable, love yeah. that value proposition, get reputation, yep. move that over into currency. Yeah, one know. of the options. Yeah. <laughs> Asia <laughs> coin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah tokenize <laughs> it, yeah, one of the options. Yeah. Um, what else is on your mind? KPIs, how do you look at data sets? What, how do you guys view, yeah. you know, how, measure to, success. how do you measure success? Well, um, I would say, um, first of all, our, all the stakeholders got to be happy with the program. I mean, I mean the stakeholders include our members, partners, our shareholders, and our employees. They're important to, to make sure that the program is successful. And uh, it also including the engagement ratio and um, our breakage ratio, whether they, you know, there are a lot of members that because they don't have chances to redeem things and then they let the mouse expire, for example. So how we can maintain a healthy breakage ratio is also a KPI that we measure carefully. And then um, other than that, I think all our um, uh, employees or staff, they need to know or they need to understand how technology and business mix together. If you're good in business but not knowing marketing technology, for example, or if you only understand technology but not the business, for example, it's just not good enough for the future. So the skill set why you have to understand both. Yeah. How are you using technology, and especially Adobe, how is Adobe helping you? And then what other things you might be doing to help internal processes get better? Because yeah. one of the things that I'm seeing here at this show is yeah. with the platform, as you start to thread the data together, Mm. and let the data kind of naturally flow with machine yeah. learning and the different <coughs> data points, yeah. you can start to get some visibility into insights that might not be there. Yeah. So that's going to cause some internal disruption. <laughs> People might lose their job, it or did, new did. jobs yeah. emerge. Yeah. 
there's always conflict when you're moving, when you're progressing. Yeah. yeah. What, how do you use technology and this technology <laughs> to keep getting higher functionality, better economics? Mm. What's the internal struggles and yeah. gains look like? Well, for example, before the days of uh, marketing platform or Adobe days, you may need take need to take weeks to prepare a campaign, if not months, okay? Because you need to prepare all the contents, all the data segments, and then you push out through all the different channels. But now it can be an always on campaign within days. And uh, for the blockchain example, we can actually eliminate the reconciliation and settlement effort. So the back office operation team, they can move along to do something else, to do uh, uh, more campaigns or to talk to the partners more to understand their needs. Instead of uh, just keeping just number crunching, we do reconciliation. <laughs> so I think it's not about uh, um, uh, uh, with less resources, but with the same resources, how to do more things. Right. Yeah, that's right. our goal, yeah. And is it all, it's almost continuous improvement yeah, on the campaign. Continuous, all the time. Versus just, you know, a, a, let's plan a campaign, run a campaign, measure the campaign. Yes. It's yes. just constantly yeah, going. Yeah, prepare, run it, and then measure. Just, never ending, yeah. As an Adobe customer, do you like their direction that they're going? Yes, yes. All exciting products are in the roadmap, and uh, we are ready to explore more in the future, yeah. Okay. Michael, thank you for coming on and okay. visiting My us with you. Appreciate it. Okay. Here inside the queue, we're taking all the action here at Adobe Summit, getting the data, sharing it with you out in the open internets. Thanks for watching. I'm John Jeff Frick. Stay with us for more coverage from day one after this short break.